Hi, everyone. My name is Dave Merkel. I'm the Global Chief Technology Officer for FireEye. What I'd like to do uh, in this session is talk to you a bit about FireEye, our overall set of solutions, and, and how our security strategy is reflected in our technology and solutions platform and what it can do for you. Something to, to understand when, when thinking about FireEye is you know, we really look at the threat landscape and focus on a few key areas when trying to craft our strategies around our, our technologies and solutions. Uh, the first thing is the threats you're dealing with today, you know, they're not malware, they're not exploits, they're not zero days. Those are all tools. The adversaries are people. They're professional, they're well-organized, they're well-funded, whether we're talking about organized crime or nation states, and they're extremely persistent. There's really not a lot of consequence today when someone comes after your organization in an attempt to steal money or intellectual property or secrets. And so the threats you face today are likely to be the same threats you face next week in terms of threat actors, plus a few more that are likely to pile on in the interim. So you have a growing threat landscape. And really, if you look at the headlines, you'll see it's here to stay. Something to think about when we talk about advanced attacks. When we say advanced, we don't necessarily mean just advanced technology. And of course, attackers do have advanced technology. They do have advanced custom malware. They do craft new zero-day exploits. They do come up with new and creative ways to go after your organization. But they're also advanced because they apply a deliberate, methodical process. Again, these are professionals. They're paid. Their job is to take your stuff. Every day, they clock in do their job to steal from you, and then clock out and go home, and they're going to come back the next day and do the same thing again. And they use a scalable, repeatable process to do so in order to be effective against your defenses. And when we think about the threat and where it's relevant, you know, we see it across all industries. And if you just look in the headlines, you can see some of the same activity, whether it's healthcare or retail, defense contractors, national governments. I cannot think of a single sector that doesn't face the risks associated with these advanced threats today. So, so what about FireEye? What do we believe and what is it that we're trying to do? Well, when you think about how we're trying to be relevant, this is basically it. What we want to do is take you from detection of potential attacks to responding and resolution in minutes. If we go take a look at some of our data about the state of the industry today, you know, it really looks more like a couple hundred days from initial detection to responding fully to an event. And organizations typically are not finding these events by themselves. That's unacceptable. You know, the worst headlines you see in the papers today are a result of not being able to quickly detect, quickly respond, and be ready for the next attack. So when thinking about why FireEye, think about this problem and how we're trying to solve it. And our approach is really focusing on something that we call adaptive defense. What is adaptive defense? Put simply, it's a combination of capabilities and process continually applied to your environment to give you that detection to response capability in minutes. And when we think about what you need to be successful, we think about three things. First, we think about technology, you know, advanced products, advanced capabilities, so that you're continually evolving and adding new technology to your defensive lines. You think about it this way, the attackers are continually innovating, continually. Whatever they're doing this week, it's going to change next week and the week after as they evolve. Technology advances attackers as much as it advances defenders. So if you're still using the same tech you were using five years ago or 10 years ago or 20 years ago, well, you are left in the dust because the attackers are doing new things today. So your own technology does have to keep pace. The other thing we talk about is the need for intelligence. The attacker knows a lot about you and your environment. They know who works in what department. They know when you distribute performance plans to your employees. Uh, they know what your most important business initiatives are. Well, don't you want to know some of the same things about the attacker? Intelligence is a very important strategic asset. And if you don't have it about the bad guy, you're basically fighting with one arm tied behind your back. And then lastly, you have to have expertise. At the end of the day, the attacker is a person, a human being, not just the malware and the exploit. You have to have your own human being involved in this process, making critical decisions, evaluating. You know, without that, then you know, the three legs don't allow the stool to stand up. You take one away, you got a two-legged stool, poof, it falls over. You have to have that expertise in addition to technology and intelligence. Now, what do you do with those things? 
Well, we talk about implementing a continuous threat prevention process. Basically, you need to be able to detect, prevent, analyze, and respond. And historically, people talk a lot about detection and prevention, and, and really that's just half the story. You also have to understand that some attacks may bypass that loop. You need to analyze your environment, investigate at scale. You know, if you find a breach, be able to fully understand its scope. And then lastly, you have to be able to respond. This whole process, you want that to cycle in minutes and have it cycle continually. It's a constant part of your security process. So that's basically it for adaptive defense, tech, intel, and expertise implemented with this process, and that's what gives you a flexible adaptive model to be more effective in the face of modern attacks. Looking at our technology platform, how does it work? Just at a very high level, uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about a very key component, and that's FireEye's MVX engine. MVX, or multi-vector, multi-flow virtual execution engine, is a technology that we built from the ground up. It is virtual machine-based, but it's custom, designed from the beginning to do advanced security analysis. We take a look at attacks as they're happening. We play them in a virtual environment. We analyze them with behavioral analytics, and this allows us to find attacks without knowing what they look like. We don't have to have signatures, we don't have to have seen it before, and we're able to proactively identify many activities that attackers utilize in order to get you ahead of the attacker and be able to exercise that threat prevention process quickly and effectively. In addition to the MVX technology, we also connect our product technologies together through something we call DTI, or Dynamic Threat Intelligence. While it is important for humans to be in the intelligence loop, you also really need to connect your technologies to each other so that they can make each other smarter. And at FireEye, we've done exactly that. All FireEye products are connected via DTI to each other. So if you have multiple FireEye products in your environment, they talk to each other, reinforce each other, give each other new intelligence and information. They also communicate with FireEye. So we can communicate new intelligence to the products, and the products can communicate new intelligence to FireEye so that we can share that with the rest of FireEye's global defense community. We implement this technology across all of our products and platforms. So everywhere you look, we're bringing this MVX technology to the market. We power it with additional intelligence. And lastly, we also have the world's best experts to use that technology, whether you have a critical incident where you need help or assistance because something serious has happened that you can't handle, or whether you would like continual help in the form of FireEye as a service because perhaps you were really sold on our technology and intelligence, but you just don't have the experts to spend the time with it to implement that continuous threat prevention process every day. You know, at FireEye, we really think it's time to reimagine security. You, know, you have to do things different, you have to evolve, and you have to innovate. And we think we bring the best technology, intelligence, and expertise to the market to help you do exactly that. Thanks for your time today.